सो हेलो एवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू अ ब्रांड न्यू वीडियो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विद द सॉल्यूशन आई हैड अ लाइव स्ट्रीम प्लान दिस वीकेंड बट वी हैड बैक टू बैक कोर्ट फोर्सेज अराउंड ऑन सैटरडे एंड ऑन संडे एज वेल सो आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू डू डैट लाइव स्ट्रीम सो फॉर द सेम रीजन आई विल रिस्कैड्यूल इट टू नेक्स्ट वीकेंड इट विल बी अ नॉर्मल क्यू एन ए स्ट्रीम बट इफ यू गैस हैव समथिंग एल्स इन माइंड डू सजेस्ट uh some other kind of stuff fun stuff that we can do on the live stream yeah and so be sure to join in the live stream next weekend so let's move on to the problem now uh, the problem is e2 divisible numbers we will solve the hard version and it was from round 828 which was a div 3 round so let's move on to the solution before we move on to the solution uh, i want to take a small break and tell you guys about newton school's premier coding contest so as all of you guys love cp and all of you all of you guys love to code this is a great opportunity to show off your coding skills and also win some cash prizes there are a prizes worth of rupees 30000 and along with this you can also win some free coding courses or also grab some internship opportunities right so uh, for this reason only newton school organizes this contest every month on a global scale so you can also benchmark yourself where you are lacking or where you are standing uh, compared to other students so this month it will be on 27th october it will be around 2 and a half hours starting from 9 pm and it is absolutely free to uh, sign up for so there will be there will be a link down below so do check out that link and sign up for the contest for absolutely free yeah so let's move on to the solution now so in the problem uh, we have been given four integers a b c and d all of them can be up to range 10 to the power 9 so given these four integers we have to find two new integers x and y such that x lies in the range a up to c similarly y lies in the range from b up to d see that x cannot be equal to a and y cannot be equal to b right because there is no equal to sign here so also take care of that so we need to find two integers x and y uh, in the range a to c and in the range b to d such that x into y is a multiple of a into b so that is the entire problem so uh, given four integers a b c d find uh, integers x and y where x lies from a to c y lies from b to d and such that x into y is a multiple of a into b so how can we solve this so to solve this we need some basic knowledge of number theory and some hands on experience with uh, prime factorization so we will use these concepts to uh, reduce this problem into a simple problem and then solve that problem right so let's see how we can solve this so we have been given that uh, x into y should be a multiple of a into b so how can we write the same thing mathematically so in mathematical form we can write this as x into y should be equal to k into a into b right where k is some integer greater than equal to 1 right so that is how we want to write this as so we will say x into y is equal to k into a into b Uh, for the time being let's say your a into b is some integer let's say z for example if your a is equal to 8 and b is equal to 9 then your z is equal to a into b that is equal to 72 so we can rewrite this as x into y is equal to k into z now what i will do is i will try to break this z down into a pair of divisors right for example let's say your z is equal to 72 Then I will try to write this down as pair of divisors. For example, if I have seventy-two, I can write this down as one comma seventy-two, right? As one into seventy-two is equal to seventy-two. Similarly, I can write write this down as two into thirty-six, as two into thirty-six is equal to seventy-two. I can also write this as three into twenty-four, as three into twenty-four is equal to seventy-two, and so much more, right? So you are getting the hint. So I can break down Z into pair of divisors, Z one comma Z two. Such that z1 into z2 is equal to z, right? And that is the entire thing. So if I have my equation as x into y is equal to k into z, I can rewrite the equation as x into y is equal to k into z1 into z2. I can do the same thing for k. So I can also write k as k1 into k2 into z1 into z2. So if I rearrange the terms, I will get x into y is equal to k1. Into z1 and k2 into z2. So now let's try to look at this equation and try to draw some kind of observations, right? 
So if you try to see this, you can see that your x is equal to k1 a2z1 and your y is equal to k2 into z2, right? So you can say that your x is a multiple of z1 and your y is a multiple of z2, where z1 and z2 are corresponding divisors in a pair, right? So if you have a divisor pair as z1 comma z2, then x is a multiple of z1, right? X is a multiple of z1 and y is a multiple of z2. So that is the entire thing. So if we can somehow iterate over all these divisor pairs, I can check if there exists some valid x or valid y value or not, right? So that will be my approach. So my current approach is find z that is equal to a into b, right? Then find all divisor pairs. that is z1 comma z2 right and then for every divisor pair for every divisor pair z1 z2 check if valid xy exist in range or not exist in range or not so how can we do this uh, let's try to uh, calculate the time complexity of each of the steps, right? Uh, we are doing z is equal to a into b. This is this is obviously o, o of 1. Then we are trying to find all divisor pairs z1, z2. So how much time will this take? So if you try to see range of a and b, my a and b is up to 10 the power 9, right? So my z will be up to 10 the power 18, right? And to find all the divisor pairs, it takes me root of z time right so it will take me root of z time to find all the divisor pairs and as my uh, z is equal to 10 the power 18 so if i try to find all the divisor pairs it will take me o of under root of 10 the power 18 which is o of 10 the power 9 and this will obviously t any right 10 the power 9 is uh, very high so it will not be able to pass uh, so we have to do some kind of optimization on this to try to pass this under the time limit and obviously if you look at the third step uh, have to find if valid x or y exist or not this is also o of 1 right so the only bottleneck is the second step where we have to find all the divisor pairs z1 z2 so how can we optimize the second step let's look at that now so we are able to find z is equal to a to a into b in o of 1 uh, we are also able to check if x or y exist for a pair z1 z2 in o of 1 now the only thing is how can we find all the divisor pairs z1 z2 uh, in the time limit time so let's look at that. Uh, let's again rewrite the first equation and try to work on it once again. So the first equation was x into y is equal to k into a into b. Now let's not try to like uh, sum up a, a into b in a single integer. Let's try to keep a and b separate, right? So as I was I, as I was able to write z1 into z1 into z2, I can also write a into a1 a2, right? For example, if my a is equal to eight and my b is equal to nine, I can write a as one comma eight, two comma four, so on. And I can also rewrite re nine as one comma nine, three comma three, right? So here I can write x into y is equal to k one into k two, a a as a one into a two, and b as b one into b two, right? So I can rewrite the equation as x into y is equal to k one a1 b1 into k2 a2 b2 right so now if you try to look at the equation again and try to draw some kind of observation you will get that if you have two pairs a1 a2 and b1 b2 then your x will be a multiple of your x will be a multiple of a1 b1 your x is a multiple of a1 b1 and your y is a multiple of a, uh, a2 b2 right as you can see easily your x will be a multiple of a1 b1 and your y will be a multiple of a2 b2 and as your so now we have to just find all the divisor pairs of integer a and of integer b right now we have to find all the divisor pairs of integer a and integer b and as a and b are up to 10 the power 9 so we can do this in under root of 10 the power 9 time which is around 10 the power 5 so we will pass under the time limit right so now we can remove the first two steps and we can rewrite our approach so we can rewrite this as k1 
keep a and b separate so we will deal with a and b separately we will not like single them out into single integer so then i will try to find all divisor pairs for a as a1 comma a2 this will take me o of under root a time right and is as a is up to 10 the power 9 so this will be around o of 10 the power 5 so i will find all the divisor pairs in the form a1 comma a2 then i will find all the divisor pairs of b in the form of b1 comma b2 right then i will iterate for all the a pairs and then for every a pair i will iterate for all the b pairs right so i will write a 2d for loop so i can say for every a pair that is for every a1 comma a2 belonging to a pairs let's say belonging to a pairs then for every a pair i will iterate for all the b pairs right so i will say for every b1 comma b2 belonging to b pairs so now now i have four integers i have a1 a2 b1 b2 right so now now, now i will try to find if there exists some valid x or y value or not for my a1 into b1 value right because i know my x is equal to k1 into a1 b1 and my y is equal to k2 into a2 b2 so now i will try to find using some mathematical formulas if there exists some valid value for k1 and k2 right if there exists some value in the range then i will output x or y otherwise i will move on to the next pairs and if i am not able to find any such pair then the answer is false right or minus one minus one as in this case so uh, try to find the third step is try to find k1 k2 values f if existing in the range so how can you do this so basically you need to find if there exists a multiple of a1 b1 in range a to c or not right so i have my x equal to k1 a1 b1 so you need to find if there exists some valid value of k1 or not right for that you basically need, need to check that if there exists a multiple of a1 b1 in the range a to c or not right that is easy to check and that is the entire solution right so if you guys want to look at the code for this uh, here is the code so i keep uh, two vectors a factors and b factors basically to store pairs of divisors so i will iterate over all the divisor pairs of a and store them similarly i, do, I will do the same thing for b uh, then i will iterate over all uh, the a pairs and for every a pair i will iterate over all the b pairs then i will try to find if there exists some valid valid value for k1 or k2 or not right so for that i can use some kind of mathematical relations so i will say my k1 is equal to a by x plus 1 and my k2 is equal to b by y plus 1 so if k1 into c is less uh, so if k1 into x is less than c and k2 into y is less than equal to d then there exists the answer then i will just print out my answer and if i iterate over all the pairs and i am not able to find the answer then i can just return false and i can print minus 1 minus 1 right uh, so there is just just some mathematical formulas here you can like read these i don't think i need to explain them to you right because they are not that hard uh, but the only doubt yeah, that you guys can have is uh, we are iterating for all the a pairs and for all the b pairs won't this t any so for this there is a very well known relation so the relation is that divisors of some number n are about uh, n the power 1 by 3 are about n the power 1 by 3 so if i have my a equal to 10 the power 9 so it will have about 10 the power 9 the power 1 by 3 that is equal to 10 the power 3 divisors which is about 1000 right and the same thing for b so b will also have about 1000 divisors so if i do a into b right because i am running the loop for divisors of a and for divisors of b so it will take me around o of 1000 into 1000 so around o of 10 the power 6 right so this will run fine under the time limits and uh, that is the entire solution so if you guys have some doubts or if you guys feel like you are having a doubt feel free to jump in discord server uh, i help people with solutions there and i will see you guys in the next one Bye bye